Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape Tutorial 32, Arrange. To get to the Arrange palette, you go to Object and at the very bottom you can find Arrange. In previous editions, this function was called Columns and Rows. Select it and it will bring up this dialog. This is the default settings that you will have when you open this for the first time with three columns, three rows, equal heights, equal width set. This gives you a basic layout of what's, what it's going to look like. And we will leave fit into, we will leave it at, set it at set spacing. Now set spacing, you tell the, um, you tell Inkscape how many pixels you want in between each of these objects. So you can raise it up, raise it down, but we're going to go leave it at 15 right now. Hit arrange, and it'll lay out all of your objects just that easy. Let's control Z. If you go to fit to selection box, what it's going to base it off of is the your highest object, your lowest object, and your farthest left and right object. Let's go control A to select them all and try it again. Notice how that they now are laid out, but it was based off of the objects, the furthest objects from the center of the pack. Control Z. And of course, you can adjust all these settings to anything you like. The next um, tab is polar coordinates. Now you have to have a circle or some sort of ellipse in the, in the selections to actually do this. If you don't, you will get an error message that looks like this couldn't find an ellipse in the selection. So keep that in mind when you're working with this. If you have any errors, it's wanting you to make a circle so it can base some of the um, the, the arrangement off of that. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit arrange. We'll have objects rotational centers. And this is what it does. We can select that and hit page up. And it does make a nice geometric layout. You can play with this in the spacing and different shapes and get some really nice effects with it. Let's go ahead and select that again. Click here, Objects Bounding Boxes. Notice how that is switched to the, the bounding boxes and not the rotational centers. The last thing to pay careful attention to when working in this menu is the Rotate Objects. So I'm going to hit Control Z a few times. I'm going to uncheck rotate objects and hit arrange again. It'll keep them vertical when you do that. It, basically, they won't rotate. If you select it, hit the rotate, hit arrange, they'll rotate again. And that it does it for the arrange dialog. Please join us for Inkscape Tutorial 33 Trace Bitmap. Thanks for watching.